It's been a dream of digital DJs that use DVS with turntables to no longer have to rely on needles and deal with the issues that they provide while still maintaining the tactile feel of turntables. In 2018, company MWM announced a product that they called FaZe that promised to do just that. And since its announcement, FaZe has been one of the most revolutionary, most anticipated, and most controversial pieces of DJ technology in recent history. And in this video, I give you my review of FaZe and give you my thoughts after using it in the field for a little bit of time. So if you're interested in more review videos just like this one or tips and tricks videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel. But now let's get into my review of MWM's FaZe. At its core, FaZe is a DJ controller that allows DJs to use timecode with DVS DJ software without the need of needles or timecode vinyl through the use of two wireless remotes and a receiver. The remotes are meant to be placed on pieces of actual vinyl to be used on turntables just as normal. The remotes then send the rotation information of the turntable to the receiver, which then sends the timecode signal to the audio interface or mixer that's used with the DVS software. So basically, instead of a piece of timecode vinyl and a needle sending the timecode signal, they're replaced with the wireless remotes and the receiver. MWM did a really great job with the design of phase, making it very simple to set up. It actually only takes three cables, two pairs of RCA cables, and then one USB cable. The RCA cables are connected from the outputs of the phase receiver into the RCA inputs of either the DJ mixer or audio interface that you're using with your DVS software. Then the USB cable is connected either to a computer or external USB power supply to provide power to the receiver. From there, the only other hardware piece of phase is the two wireless remotes, which are placed on pieces of actual vinyl, and that's pretty much it for the hardware setup. On the software side of things, MWM made it really simple as well. Phase uses an app called MWM Connect, which handles the initial setup of the actual phase hardware. All you need to do is install the app, plug the phase receiver with the remotes attached into your computer. The MWM app will then recognize the phase and handle the setup of things such as the LED light color on the actual remotes, the sleep time for each of the remotes, and most importantly, which timecode signal that you would like to use. Phase currently supports pretty much all the popular DVS software on the market right now, so if you use DVS, chances are you'll be able to use Phase with it. Once the software and hardware setup are complete, all that's left to do is actually start DJing, and that's exactly what I did. I took Phase with me to a couple gigs and used it in the studio extensively to give it a try and see its responsiveness, its reliability, and I must say, I was pretty impressed by the results. Overall, Phase felt pretty responsive, and after a while, I kind of forgot that I wasn't using needles with timecode vinyl anymore when using DVS. I was able to scratch, backspin, pitch bend, and do everything I normally would do on a turntable without having to second guess if Phase was gonna act up, and it felt pretty natural. Now, one thing I was worried about was the battery life of the wireless remotes. MWM claims that you'll get about 10 hours of battery life, and although I didn't push it to 10 hours of DJing, I was able to get a consistent five to six hours and complete a whole night DJing without having to worry about the two remotes running out of juice. After using it for a couple of gigs, I felt pretty confident about the performance of Phase and wouldn't mind using it on other gigs in the future. The one thing that I will say is that if you intend on using Phase and it's not your setup and you're using you know, the club setup or the bar or lounge or whatever setup you're using and it's not your gear, you do need to have the extra time to hook up the box to the back of the audio interface or mixer that you're playing on, which can cause some issues if the other DJs that you're playing with you know, before you or after you aren't using phase or aren't interested in using phase. Now this is something you really have to keep in mind and I will say that all the gigs that I used phase on, I was playing from the beginning of the night to the end of the night so I didn't have to worry about hooking and unhooking the phase receiver and you know, plugging and unplugging things in the back of the mixer or the back of the audio interface in a crowded dark DJ booth. So if this is something that you might have to juggle around, it's something that you really have to think of before you get to the gig to make sure that you at least talk to the other DJs that you might be DJing with for that night to see if they're you know comfortable with using phase or making sure that you're comfortable with unplugging and rehooking things really quickly. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, phase had somewhat of a controversial development and release. MWM used the crowdfunding model not only to gauge the interest of FaZe, but also fund the rest of its development. The shipping dates were pushed back multiple times, with MWM saying they really wanted to refine and get the product right before they sent it out to its buyers. 
but even with the delays, there's been a lot of DJs out there that are complaining of issues with the phase that they received. Things like battery issues, connectivity issues, and tracking issues are all things that many DJs out there that purchase phase have been complaining about since its initial release. MWM has promised fixes for these issues with future firmware updates, but no specific dates have been given. While I personally do know DJs that purchase phase that are experiencing these kind of issues, I didn't run into any of these with the units that I was using for the extent of my review. Now through the positive experience with phase that I had to the negative experience with phase that some of my DJ buddies have run into, one thing's for certain, that MWM is pushing DJ technology further with the development of phase. Being able to use turntables without the fear of bass vibrations or bad tracking due to dirty needles is a godsend and something that DVS DJs that use turntables have been asking for for a long time. And I hope that MWM can really iron out the issues that they've been having with the firmware updates like they promised. Overall, I think Phase is a great product, but it's something that I can't wholeheartedly recommend until MWM resolves the reliability issues that many DJs have been running into. But now we want to hear from you. Have you given Phase a try? And if so, what did you think about it? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you haven't already, be sure that you subscribe to this channel for more review videos just like this one. Now, get good, get out there, and make the moments.